video. In this video, we'll talk about how to use a custom execution order using Salesforce Action. Now, custom execution order is awesome because you can um, load your data based on your order. So you can, let's say you have two tables. One is account, one is contact. And you want account to load first, contact second. This is where you can use custom execution order. And I'm going to demonstrate this ex exact example I'm talking here to sort of hammer this point home. So let's say we go over to our strip, and I'm going to make a little bit even here, like this. So in my first one, I'm going to bring a table. Table is going to bring back accounts, and it's just random 20 accounts. I don't care in terms of what it brings. We can bring anything. And then we will do name. We will do type. We will do number like this. Click apply and then there is my table 1. Alright, then we will do table 2. And This is bringing contacts, up to 20 contacts, doesn't matter what the condition is. Let's just do the mapping. So first name, last name, and then email, something like that. So this is my second table. Now, there are a couple of things you want to do. First, if you want this to work, you, both of them needs to be Salesforce um, custom actions. So you click on settings, go over to Salesforce, edit this, and trigger to execute pull needs to be set to user action. Be sure to add a comment. So you can say this, we can just say account, apply, and as you can see it's changed the color for the trigger on user action. In this one we want to do the same, user action, and then we want to say contact. And you can see the colors changed. Now the best part is this. If we get a button like this, then let's rename it execute order what you can do is this click on it go over to interactivity click on uh, on click action you can obviously do that with many different elements button is easy way to explain then in Salesforce action you can do account and then you can do contact so right now one and two are going to go together but under integration options here you've got something called custom order of execution so technically you can say I want account to load first, contact to load second. Let me demonstrate this for you. Click save, let's publish. So right now nothing, but watch this. As soon as I click this, watch the first table loading first, then the second. So let's do this. You can see the first one loaded, then the second. Okay. That's the point of custom execution order. And again, let me show you another example. So instead of now um, accounts loading first and contact second, we will do the other way around. We'll have contact load first, account second. So click apply, save, publish. Now let me move this towards the middle, I'll click on this button here, and then watch this, contact loads first, account second. Easiest way to demonstrate this. So there are a couple of pointers you need to be mindful of. First, make sure your gets are in custom execution order, uh, sorry, your gets are set as Salesforce actions, and once they are, and you assign them, you can go to integration options, check custom execution order, here you can then go ahead and assign them by the number so you could have to have up to five or as many as you want you can just do one two three four five six seven eight nine however you see fit and uh, and that's it that's how it's done